Hi, I'm meteorologist Peter Hall. Here's your NBC3 forecast. It's Labor Day, and it looks like we're going to have a warm and humid day for you. If you're looking forward to something like that, you'll be happy about today's weather. Patchy fog and clouds for some of us this morning, then a mix of sun and clouds. Most of us will straight, stay dry for most of the day. I expect most spots to get to between 80 and 85. Syracuse has an opportunity of around 86. You'll see this on the future cast, but there is an opportunity of a shower thunderstorm west of Syracuse before the sun goes down and around the Syracuse area this evening. Otherwise, a muggy overnight with temperatures, many plot spots in the upper 60s, the lower 70s. What to expect? It's a humid holiday. We just mentioned that very warm and summery today on this Labor Day. Looking ahead, while there's a slight chance of an isolated shower thunderstorm at around sunset and through sunrise tomorrow, the best chance for the most widespread showers and thunderstorms, that's likely to be tomorrow afternoon for Tuesday. There'll be a slight reduction in temperatures for Wednesday, but then we go right above average again for Thursday, for Friday, before we go well below normal for temperatures this upcoming weekend. So we start off this morning with patches of clouds and fog. Then a mix of sun and clouds by noon. Now let's look ahead this afternoon and see what pops up. Notice here by 5 o'clock, the best chance of a splash and dash hit or miss shower thunderstorm is over western New York and over the Finger Lakes and areas west of Syracuse. This is what I was referring to. If you're looking forward to seeing if you can get a barbecue in, if you're going to do it around 5, heads up west of Auburn, you have an opportunity. Now the closer we get to sunset, the better the chance that maybe a shower thunderstorm crosses a few of us and maybe one more overnight. Again, this is very splash and dash, very isolated kind of thing. And there you go. Very humid air. I can't rule out a brief passing shower from this activity you see even in the morning. But by far, watch behind me. Showers and storms more organized, much more widespread here tomorrow afternoon. The real flyer and question mark in all this is if we get a lot of sun before you see what comes through the afternoon, these showers and storms, then these could be strong to severe. I'm only predicting 25% sunshine for Tuesday, but if they, there's more than that, I've got to be careful. There could be some strong to severe weather in the afternoon. This is with a cold front coming through. So instead of 86, which we have today, and somewhere in the 80s tomorrow, I think Wednesday it's a few degrees cooler, but nothing absurd. We're just going back to normal. A lot of sunshine, high around 75, 76, 77, 78 for most places. In terms of the amount of sunshine today, I think we should get at least 66%, 25% sunshine Tuesday. Remember, if we get more like 50 or more percent sunshine tomorrow, well, then the threat for thunderstorms that could be strong or severe does going up. 80% sunshine expected on Wednesday. The chance that it rains in Syracuse and points east during the day is only 10%, but once it gets towards a near sunset and beyond, basically sunset through sunrise through tomorrow morning, the chance of a brief shower thunderstorm is one in three. But then during the afternoon Tuesday, the threat for showers and storms goes up to 66%. Wednesday, dry. Thursday, dry. Friday, thunderstorms likely with a new cool front. This one's stronger on Friday, so Saturday and Sunday will be cooler. You might be wondering, well, why is there a 25% chance of rain Saturday and Sunday. Some of our computer models try to stall this thunderstorm threat into our area this weekend. I don't think that's going to occur, but it's just as a safety measure, just in case we'll keep you posted. Overall, temperatures well above normal today, tonight, tomorrow, tomorrow night, near normal Wednesday afternoon, near normal Thursday morning. Then we're above normal again Thursday afternoon, Thursday night and Friday. Are you curious about how the summer went temperature-wise in Syracuse? Go to our website, cnycentral.com.